Today we're in the suburbs of Tokyo. We've taken a train about 30 minutes from Shibuya Station. We're going to a friend's house and we've gotten lost. Um, if you're watching this, we'll be there soon-ish, because we stopped to shoot a video. Uh, behind me, you can actually see some lockers, and most people would assume those lockers are going to be for your bag because you don't want to carry it around, but we're just in the middle of living area. This is just apartments on apartments on apartments, so nobody's bringing their luggage here and just leaving it. The lady behind me is actually leaving produce possibly from her farm because we have seen some farms in the area. She's bringing fresh produce down to these lockers and putting them inside and people will put coins into the locker like you normally would. They open up the door and they get their goods from the inside. Um, here we've seen you can get cucumbers, seasonings, nasu, which is eggplant, and we've seen some creepy weird eggplants that are completely white that I never knew there was an albino type of eggplant. So we were learning stuff here. It's incredible. And uh, we're going to a friend's house. I was really hoping they would have something that was like munchable to take over there, like maybe edamame or something like that. But what we've ended up with is rice. That's what we're going to purchase from here. So we've got our rice and the door's locked. I can't just steal the rice. I have to pay for the rice. I put the four in, open the door, and this is my rice now. <laughs> it was shortly owned by the locker, but now it is mine, and that's really cool. I kind of like getting rice that has no label on it, and you don't really know anything about it. Where'd it come from? Dunno. I'm excited to try it at home, and is it better than what we get at the local supermarket? Could be. As we finished up shooting the video, um, the lady that was restocking everything came up to us and was like explaining to us like, oh hey, I grew this stuff like just around this area and I get it, I source it from different farms and stuff and she told us that the nasi that she had just put into the machine, she had just cut it and brought it here. So she said it was like super fresh. So let's, I guess... Was our choice a, a bad one? <laughs> yeah, getting the rice or yeah. not? Well, they had a sign up that said that they specialize in making rice as well. Mm, so I, I don't know if that's signs. the same rice that they specialize in, but we got rice. And I think that's what's going to be useful for us. Yeah, as because we eat rice here. Three, three weeks, three... Three nights a week. Three nights a week. Oh my God, <laughs> we could not compute that. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was a fun find. I like finding little things like yeah. that. It was and really cool that she stopped and talked to us. Yeah, she was super friendly. She seemed like when she was stacking the machine, I was like, I don't want to get in this lady's way because she seemed like she was like going to throw some elbows. Like, mm. But like then she came up to us like, do you speak Japanese? I was like, yeah. And she was like, gave us this really like, really friendly, really nice explanation. Yeah. So yeah, Japanese people are wonderful as always, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you want to check out more of videos about Japan or um, videos about like us traveling around Asia and exploring things, we actually do a series of longer videos that like, you know, videos are longer, like like an hour or something, 30 minutes sometimes. Yeah. One hour, sometimes they get out of control and they're like an hour and a half. But if you want to check that stuff out and you're new to our channel, then hitting that up will be the uh, best way to do that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, other than that, thanks everybody.